Okay, so we're looking at the addition rule of probability one more time, but now we're looking at mutually exclusive events. So let's talk about that term and um, understand what mutually exclusive means. If two events are mutually exclusive, it means they cannot occur together at the same precise time. So, or you can't be a member of both groups at the same time, then the two groups are mutually exclusive. So let's think of some examples of that. Um, you can't be late to class and on time to class in the same day at the same time, right? So let's say on Monday's class, you cannot be late to class and on time to class at the same time. Either you're in the group of students who are on time that day or you're in the group of students who are late that day. You can't be in both groups at the same time. That means their groups are mutually exclusive. You can't be a member of one and the other at the same time. Okay, so mutually exclusive means cannot occur together. So sometimes when you have events that are like that, um, the probability formula for addition rule of probability can lose the last term in the probability formula. Remember if you had before we had three fractions that were involved in the addition rule of probability. The last fraction, the one that is normally subtracted off, you can skip that in the case where the events are mutually exclusive. So let's try to uh, look at a problem here that shows that. There's not going to be an announcement in the problem that tells you that the events are mutually exclusive. So I'm going to work it out as if I didn't realize they're mutually exclusive. And then we're going to see that we'll just realize at the end that we don't need the last fraction. So let's try to do it. So I read the problem. How do I know it's addition rule of probability? Well, it says find the probability that A, randomly selected ball, is red or green. So I know it's a probability question. Again, one thing is being selected. Just one ball is being selected from the group. I'm looking for the probability that it's red or green. So that word or and the fact that we're taking only one item from the group and they're asking for probability indicates to me this is addition rule. So I'm going to begin writing out the addition rule formula. The rule is to say I start out writing probability of the first one, I put the word or and then I put the second one there, right? So probability of red or green just what this says. Alright now the pattern says that I'm supposed to make a fraction for this scenario, make a fraction for this scenario, and then subtract off the scenario where the item belongs to both groups at the same time. So I'll have the probability that I get a red ball from the group plus the probability that I get a green ball from the group minus the probability that I have a red ball that is green. Okay, so let's think about this for a minute. Um, a red ball that is green, is that possible? Can we have a ball that's both red and green? I mean, look at our, our list here above. Hopefully you'll be able to see these colors at home, but you know, we have one, two, and three. The first three balls are numbered in red. Then we have four, five, six, seven. Those four balls are numbered in blue. And then we have two green balls, eight and nine. So are there any balls here that are red and green at the same time? I don't think so, right? We either have red balls or green balls, but we don't have balls that are both red and green. So I think that this category turns out to be zero. The probability of that occurring is zero. And that means that these two categories are mutually exclusive. It's impossible to be a red ball and a green ball at the same time, right? So those events are mutually exclusive. All right, and if that's the case, we just lose this last fraction. We don't have to worry about it. Then we have two simpler problems to work out two basic probabilities, we'll add them together and that'll be the answer to the problem. Alright, so a fraction plus a fraction. Let's work this one out. Probability of red should be number of red balls over the total. Total number of balls in the box, right? Number of green balls over the total. Once you have the writing done, we know the logic is clear and we know exactly what we have to do to solve. So I'll go ahead and fill out those fractions right here. Number of red balls in the box, we have one, two, three of those. How many total balls? Well, we have nine total balls in the box. Okay, so three ninths is the first one. Number of green, it's two green balls in the box. How many total do we have? Nine total. 3 plus 2 gives you 5, you have a 9 at the bottom, the final result is 5 ninths or the decimal 0.55555 repeating on and on, right? that's it.